Welcome to this tutorial number four for the Feed Scroll Generator app for Autodesk Inventor. In this tutorial, we're going to cover how you can introduce bottle rotation and also variable root diameter. That is moving the bottle towards and away from the shaft axis with the app. This is the example we're going to produce uh, as part of this tutorial. You can see that the bottles are not only rotating, but they are actually moving towards, or the center of the bottle is moving towards the shaft axis as we move along from left to right. What we'll also take a look at is how you can ensure a really good quality surface finish on the finished model when you're uh, rotating the bottles or when you have uh, aggressive movement of the bottles along the shaft because what can be introduced if you look carefully in this area here of this finished example you can see some wrinkling of the surfaces this is where the bottle is rotating most quickly inventor has to calculate all of this sort of helical cut as a single surface it can actually introduce some wrinkling in some cases you know particularly here because we have quite a sharp radius on the bottle edge on the bottle corner rather there are some great tools that we can use within the app to effectively eliminate that kind of surface wrinkling so that we have a, a, a very smooth surface to send to our manufacturing process okay i'm going to hit the delete key to stop this simulation here and then we will escape out of the simulation and we'll start designing this part from scratch. I think what I'll do is I'll take a copy of this part. So I'll do a file save as, I'll just call it tutorial four. And I'm going to wipe the settings in this part so that we start with the default helix. I won't re-sketch the bottle shape because that's covered in other tutorials. Okay, so I'm going to hit the reset all values to default here. And then I'll hit generate again. And let's just use a sensible bottle pitch distance for the size of bottle here that we've got. Okay, so the areas that we're focusing on for this tutorial are the bottle position section and the bottle rotation. First off, we're going to specify the rotation that we want. So we're going to toggle this on and off. You see that we can do that here. As we hit this button, we switch between no rotation, anti-clockwise rotation, and if I hit it again, we switch to clockwise rotation, and then off again. Okay, one important thing to say at this point is you can actually geometrically achieve much greater rotation amounts with anti-clockwise rotation over clockwise rotation. So just bear this in mind if you need to, for instance, rotate a bottle by 90 degrees as we've got here, but it doesn't particularly matter which way it rotates, then I would choose anti-clockwise or counterclockwise rotation because the geometry is actually easier for inventor to calculate. So let's take a look at these settings here. How much rotation do we want at the start? That doesn't have to be zero. If I type in 20 degrees there, for instance, we'll rotate the bottle 20 degrees at the start, anti-clockwise, and the rotation at the end. Now this can really be any value. I could make that 360, for instance, and then we're attempting to rotate the bottle completely around. Now there are going to be limits to how much rotation we can fit in a shaft of a particular length. We'll have a look at those in a moment. Let's just take a look at the start lead in and end lead out values. Similar to the bottle pitch lead in and lead out values and the variable distance from axis ones as well. This is how far at the start the bottles continue before starting their rotation, as you can see here, and how long at the end of the shaft after they complete their rotation. So at the moment, we're pretty much starting the rotation straight away. We could say, hold off and don't start the rotation for 100 millimeters. And then you'll see that the rotation here doesn't start straight away. But now, see, I mentioned possible limits to how much rotation you can squeeze into a shaft of a particular length. It's saying, hang on, the rotation is really too fast here because we've squeezed the rotation into a smaller space here. So I'm going to say, okay, this is gonna be set back to whatever it was before. And we'll reduce this down to a more sensible value. 
Okay, so now we can introduce a bit of a weight at the start before the bottles start rotating, and then maybe a bit of a weight at the end after they finish rotating, and we won't be performing the rotation too quickly. Okay, let's move on to this variable distance from axis here. By default, we only specify one distance of the bottles from the axis of the shaft. In this case, it's 80 millimeters, which is the distance from this center here to this center here. It's the diametric distance between the bottle centers. So I'll turn this on now and we get the option to specify a variable distance. At the moment it's the same start and end but if I for instance reduce this one let's make that 60 for instance at the end you can see that the bottles move in towards the shaft uh, center there obviously this is going to affect the root diameter and we can produce some useful effects here like for instance if we want the outermost point of the bottle to stay in roughly the same position you can see here that we've sort of almost done that here except here the bottle sticks out a bit more so let's try making some more adjustments this lead in and lead out value if we say we want the bottles to reach their final distance a bit sooner we could increase this lead out value so if I make that 150 you can see this shaft this sketch changing here let's exaggerate this a bit just so that we can see let's make that 50 and then if I make this value larger you can see now we've got a much faster change of the bottle positions here okay so that's probably too far and just also wanted to point out here the fact that this in this case we've gone past the center past the shaft axis with the bottle here it overlaps which the app won't currently permit so we need to make sure this bottle remains on this side of the shaft axis so we can't use a value of 50 there we can use a value of 60 fine we'd probably be able to use 55 as well but you can see here we're roughly maintaining the position of the outside of the bottle despite the fact that the bottle is rotating here so one more tweak here and I'm pretty happy with this as a starter so let's save this part now and I think it would be a good idea here to uh, create a preview shaft so I'll hit create preview shaft and then we can run a quick simulation of this because of course when we're introducing bottle rotation and bottles moving in and out there's a chance that the bottles might be clashing as they're rotating pretty sure we've not got that in this case but let's take a look so here's our preview I'll say yes I do want to continue with another operation and then we can run a quick simulation and just check that okay and then we can zoom uh, excuse me we can rotate the shaft here Okay, so this all looks fine. I can't see any problems with the geometry from the preview build. Everything looks fine. So let's hit back and we can go ahead and create the smooth build now. And let's just adjust these values here. We've got a more complicated bottle shape, so we're going to need more profiles for the loft. And we won't need more loft rails, so we can take that slider down a bit. And let's hit go and start creating the shaft. Okay, this shaft's created in uh, just under five and a half minutes. Uh, we'll say no, we don't want to continue with another operation because I want to just take a look at the quality of the surfaces or the surface on this shaft. So as we mentioned at the start of the video, you can see that where inventors really having to do a difficult job here where the root diameter becomes quite small. We do have some, not too, it's not too bad, but a small amount of wrinkling of the surfaces and I promised that I'd show you a method for how we can how we can deal with that. Let's open up a couple of finished example shafts for me to show you. And you can see on both of these example shafts we've actually created the helix with multiple surfaces instead of a single surface. This one's got slightly larger faces and this one's got 
slightly smaller faces. And if we take a look at the effect that that has on the wrinkling that we saw in this kind of area here, what you'll see is that it gives Inventor a much easier job and the wrinkles can be reduced. So if we look here, this kind of section was the problem area, wasn't it? You can see the wrinkles, there's still visible wrinkles on this one, but they're much reduced. And if we go to the shaft with even smaller surfaces here and take a look at the problem section, you can see that the wrinkles are, effect, uh, are almost completely disappeared. If I uh, move the shaft around in this view, and actually if I change it to a different view without edges showing so that you can see more clearly, you can see that the quality of the surfaces is drastically improved here by using multiple faces. So how have we accomplished that? the creation of multiple faces instead of a single face here. Well, it's nice and easy. All we do is inside the app, we just need to specify that the single face option here is off. You see, then we get the image there shows us what the result will be. And if I look at the eye symbol here, you can see the difference with that switch on and off here. How do we get the faces to be smaller and larger? You saw that the result was much better in this case when the faces were smaller. Well, if we increase the loft profile slider here, we will get smaller faces as we increase it. And as we decrease the loft profile slider here, we will get larger faces. So you can see for this one, which was the smaller faces, I've got the loft profile slider quite a long way up there. Okay, let's just run a simulation of this finished shaft with the smaller faces. And we can see a really good finished result there with beautiful smooth geometry. Okay, thanks very much for watching this video. Have a great day.